He made the SEC academic honor roll. At first he struggled when he got to UK, but as the season developed, Naquez Pringle became the most dependable anchor in the middle of UK's defensive line. He knows what he wants and he's willing to sacrifice to make it in the NFL. Alan Cutler has more with the 320 pound senior. As I'm about to say this, it doesn't even sound right. How about a defensive lineman, a tackle who has no stomach, with great pride having no stomach, and he owes it all to his mother and grandmother as a child. It's just about being humble and just listening on to the coaches. They know more than we know. We just try to learn from them. It's like we need them more than they need us, so we just got to pay attention and listen. Have you always been this humble? Always. My mom always told me a humble child always takes the grace, so that's my goal right there. That's um, a great, great lesson. How old were you? Uh, I was always young growing up. My grandma and my mom always told me that. I'm 22 now, I'm about to be 23, you know. I've always been humble, especially going from, coming from JUCO, so you have to grow up pretty fast. Pringle expects to be 10 times better this year. Being a junior college transfer, this is a whole new world. We've seen it many times for a JC transfer. That first year is tough. When he goes home, he still eats fried chicken, but he now gets rid of the best part. Like if I eat fried, I just peel off the skin or something like that, you know, just stay away from the fried stuff. That's scary, good discipline. It is, but you know, if you look at the bigger picture, you try to look for the future, you know, you can't just cheat yourself every day, so. I don't know who's the most determined cat, but you have to put Pringle up there with anyone. He really wants to make something of himself. Alan Cutler, LEX 18 Sports. UK could get a big commitment tonight for next season. Cornerback Stanley Garner is announcing his decision at 8, likely on Twitter. He's from Fort Lauderdale and rated a 3-star by 24-7 Sports, 4-star by Rivals, who also have him as the 31st best player at his position. Frederick Douglass officials originally went with Stallions for the new school's nickname. There was some uproar because that's a male horse, wouldn't work for women's team, so the students picked their new mascot today going with Broncos. They can still keep the horse logo. Tayshawn Prince is going back to the Memphis Grizzlies. He's going to take a front office job, expected to be named special assistant to the general manager, Chris Wallace. All right, also, we're giving you the power to pick our game of the week for Friday. Go to LEX 18 High School Sports Zone Facebook page. Pick between these three games that you see right here. We'll announce the game this week on Thursday night at 11. Also, we want you to upload pictures to the Facebook page for your games. LEX 18 News, we'll be right back.